Hi and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video I'm going to show you the starter house that I made. This only uses the base game and cottage living and it's also a 16.5k starter house so you can immediately move in there with only one sim if you only have cottage living as an expansion pack. If you have more than that you of course can immediately move into. This house might not look quite as good as the other two builds that I've done with cottage living so far but all of the other two were like over 100k simoleon budgets and also might actually crush your PC with the amount of flowers that I've placed in them. So this one is a little bit more chill, like very cozy, but also very cheap, of course. And therefore I couldn't go as well, which actually might be a good thing for gameplay so that you can actually like play in them without currently having these like uh, performance issues and stuff. So I think that's quite a good thing. And I also think it still looks quite cute and cozy, even though it doesn't have the wow factor. What had the wow factor on the other hand was the reference image like the inspiration image that I had for this it was like very magical I can show you and I actually really really loved this inspiration picture and I couldn't really like get that vibe completely because I wanted a very small lot and the inspiration picture is in the middle of the wood but the smallest slot in Hanford on Backley is in the city and I haven't built in the city yet so I transformed it into more of like a city build I am like in hindsight I'm not too sure if I'm so happy with that decision because now I have this like different build in the background and I I don't know I think it would have fit in very well in like a foresty area but you can also always place it there so like it doesn't need to be in Hanford and Beckley that's just where I built this so maybe because I liked the reference image so much but I was restricted with the packs and the budget I ended up not like fully 100% being like super proud and happy with this build but now looking back at it I think I do still kind of like it and I especially like the interior that you're going to see later. I, th I think I dealt with the restricted space kind of well and it looked super cute in the end and I have to say that even if maybe this particular build because it is so naturey and overgrown maybe doesn't look quite right in the town center of Hanford and Beckley I still think that the surrounding of this lot is just absolutely absolutely gorgeous like this little park next to it and all of the buildings in the background are so so cute and I'm so in love with this lot and this world and yeah so this build that I did here is like this little brown cabin type build and it has this like cute chimney in a different color that is also kind of overgrown I also similar to this like magical forest cottage that I've done um, I later add a little bit of plants on the roof I wasn't really like as happy with them because I could only use debug plants and first they looked kind of weird because also the roof was so small but then I opted to use some different plants and then I liked the result of the overgrown roof way better. For the terrain I kept it pretty like simple this time just like a few natural bubbles but nothing too crazy first because the on unlike the small 20 by 15 lot I think a too crazy of a terrain would look kind of weird especially because the surrounding is kind of flat not the surrounding in the town but like the like the immediate surrounding of this lot I think is kind of flat so that wouldn't really look right and also because terrain of course is always a little bit heavier on the PC and I've gotten a lot of comments on my latest videos that the performance with my builds was awful which I totally understand my PC struggles with them too so on this one I try not to go crazy with the terrain and not go too crazy with the landscaping even though I wanted to make it a little bit of foresty looking in the surrounding of the build but yeah so therefore I kept it kind of flat on the terrain front and similar to this feature that I loved in the reference picture, I'm sorry that I'm talking about the reference picture so much, but I love this one. So similar to in there, I formed this half circle of potted plants and natural uh, plants in front of the front 
bump out of the house and it looked super cute. Now in this footage, like in the film footage, it doesn't look quite as good because it's constantly in the shadows. I just couldn't get this lot to be like lit from the front, like for the sun to hit this spill from the like from the front was just impossible. But later I faced the same lot again in Windenburg on a lot where the sunlight came from the front. And then also this like little half circle of potted plants and plants was lit like was like bright and looked very very cute um just here it looks kind of dark and therefore it doesn't look as beautiful as it might could have and of course i also had to do all this using only debug plants because i didn't want to use as many simoleons and debug plants are for free which is so so nice and there were so many new beautiful debug plants in the cottage living pack that i was happily using all of them even though it was a little bit uh, annoying that i couldn't buy plants all of the plants and in the next step i added these stones to form a walkway over to the cottage and they really kind of tied it all in together and led you off to the front door which is kind of hidden on the side of the build and i feel like when i had put down the walkway it really started to get this cottagey feel that i was going for which made me very very happy and i know that a lot of builders use these stones these walkway stones i think they are debug from oasis springs and they are absolutely gorgeous and so many builders use them so often but I have just been sleeping on them I haven't really been using them and I really now regret that because they are absolutely gorgeous and I definitely plan on using them more in the future so on the interior I wanted to fit in a kitchen of course so that your sims have something to eat I think that makes a whole lot of sense then also a tiny dining table I wanted to have a desk with a computer for some fun I wanted a bookshelf I wanted an easel to paint I wanted a bathroom and I wanted to have a bedroom with a double bed and as you can see there was not a lot of room here to accomplish that but I did manage to make it work with some tweaks to the overall shape and the placement and stuff so I really fiddled around with it but I placed it I play tested everything in the end and it all works and is functional and runs very well for gameplay. So one little tweak that I did to make this all work is that I have split the bathroom of this build into two parts. So there is one little bathroom where you only have the toilet and the sink and then you have a different bathroom with the shower which is I think very very useful. If you for example have like this cute little couple living here, it could be an elderly couple but it could just be any couple and then they need to go to the toilet but one of them is already showering. That's now possible because they have two bathrooms and it's kind of like split up into the different functions of a bathroom so I think that worked out kind of well and it gave a little bit of a divide to the main room of the of the build because on the main room there was like the office space the dining space and the kitchen space all in one and on the first layout they were all kind of like they felt kind of randomly placed for me so now I have split them up a little bit better so immediately next to the door is kind of the skill building section with the bookshelf and the easel then you have this beautiful little nook next to the um, next to the bathroom for the office and the desk and then you also have like dining more or less in the middle of the room and then the uh, kitchen in the other room uh, and the other corner and I think it worked out very well there there were lots of rugs to kind of make this look cute and cozy uh, but of course not too many because I didn't have the budget for too many um, but yeah for that little budget that I was on and for the limited amount of space I think in the end the uh, yeah the furniture turned out to look very very cute I really like the bedroom with the new uh, wallpapers from Cottage Living that I also of course used on the main room with a little bit of that green tint because I already use that green tone in the kitchen and I thought that it would look very nice as like a little theme of the house and yeah with that this build is almost complete I hope you liked and enjoyed this video if you would consider subscribing you would make me super duper happy and I hope we'll see each other again